Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the storm that we're expecting for tomorrow, it's still in the developmental stages and doesn't really get going as far as rain and wind until tomorrow. In the meantime, the problem is the cold air that's in place right now. Let me show you a live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. There's really not much on it right now, though. We are seeing some snow showers out across Long Island. We've had some flurries today, but with an east wind, in other words, there's moisture coming in off the ocean and it's being it's mixing with the cold air that's in place right now, especially uh, from New Bedford on westward where the air is colder and as a result some frozen light precipitation later on this evening and overnight primarily away from the coastline you can see Kent Providence counties interior southeastern Massachusetts and not so much for snow even though we may see some flurries this evening but rather light freezing drizzle drizzle coming out of the sky into air that is still cold so be aware of this traveling later on this evening untreated surfaces may have a very thin thin glaze of ice so it's cold for now temperatures only in the 20s with that anticipated uh, drizzle developing this evening and overnight, but the mild air takes over on Tuesday. So it's essentially uh, all plain rain, a lot of wind, anywhere from one to three inches of rain. That's why the flood watch has been issued. And of course, the strong winds, the strongest winds will be realized along the south shore for tomorrow. Flood watch for the areas in green. That's not to say it won't be raining out on Cape Cod, but the heavier amounts in the green shading, meaning uh, leaf clog, storm drain, some uh, flooding of uh, drainage area, poor drainage areas, and some street flooding things like that so certainly travel impacted the strongest winds south of Providence and along the coastline a wind advisory high wind advisory for the coastline in yellow meaning uh, winds gusting to 50 it's a high wind watch for Cape Cod and out towards the islands where winds out here may be gusting up to 60 miles per hour look how cold the temperatures are right now still in the 20s though New Bedford has jumped up to 36 degrees so the Cape and the islands is very mild but elsewhere the air is still cold so even though the storm itself hasn't formed to our south out ahead of it this damp wind coming in off the ocean producing or will produce the flurry slash drizzle mixture and why we'll have the icing for later on this evening so future cast tonight cloudy and cold with light freezing drizzle and flurries midnight the temperatures are still near or below freezing especially north and west of providence as far as the steady and heavy rain here it comes early in the morning this green shading eight o'clock in the morning most locations are well above freezing any kind of an ice threat is over rain and wind continues through the afternoon and then and tapering down the rain intensity by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night as the storm lifts to our north. Temperatures tomorrow, though, warming up to about 50, 55. So during the morning, steady rain developing. Notice the temperatures are above freezing. And the heaviest of the rain and the strongest wind during the afternoon and early evening hours. Temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. So the threat tracker tonight is in the moderate category due to light freezing drizzle. In the moderate category tomorrow due to the heavy rain and the strong coastal wind and not to as stormy on Wednesday. Wednesday, despite some scattered showers. Seven day future cast shows you storm for tomorrow. Lingering showers, nothing severe or serious on Wednesday. Extra clouds and seasonably cold both Thursday and Friday in the low 40s. Right now, the early call on the weekend, the mix of clouds and sunshine uh, both Saturday and Sunday with daytime highs in the 40s. So the concern for this evening is icing. The concern for tomorrow, uh, some street flooding and some pretty strong wind along the coastline gusting up to 50. Yeah, good thing those temperatures are going up though, because if it stayed in the 20s, this would all the snow and or ice, uh, right? We'd be talking 15, 20 inches of snow. Actually, northern New England, if you have travel plans north of the Mass Pike in northern New England, it is an all-out snowstorm there. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so we're lucky down here then. It's liquid. All right. <laughs>